This is such an exciting time for medical cannabis. I think what's interesting about where we are today is that today's uh, day in court was really the playing out of 10 years of work that we've been doing at Americans for Safe Access, but really decades of work that have been done by the movement. And in the spirit of the work that we've, we've been doing to sort of uh, really shrink the gap between the federal government's understanding of medical cannabis and the reality that patients and doctors are having across this country. In that process, we've been bringing into the fold new partners. And every, every day that there are new um, scientific studies that are coming out, uh, every day that we're hearing more doctors stand up uh, for access, uh, we're able to have second and third meetings with people that maybe were a little afraid to meet with us before. And for, for many of you in D.C. and on the East Coast uh, who are just waiting for anyone to give you any type of marijuana at all, which trust me, we were there in California, and I'm there in D.C., uh, in our patients in California, in Colorado, in Washington, um, actually know exactly what strain of, of medicine they want, uh, they know um, what form they want it in, if a tincture or, um, or a product. Um, but there's no one really looking at, at product safety in these issues. And I had the, the honor of, of meeting our, our next awardee, um, Michael McGuffin, who is the executive director for the American Herbal Products Association. Um, who has, has really been a, a leader in, in creating standards in the herbal medicine uh, and botanical medicine industry. And over the last years, we've been working together to bring his knowledge uh, to this industry, and I, which I really think is, is the future of medical cannabis. And I have to say, it's, it's pretty exciting when someone invites you under their umbrella. Uh, especially when you've been standing in the cold for a long time. So I really feel the work that we've been doing with American Herbal Products Association uh, is bringing us uh, to, a, to a world where we're going to have safe access and that as patients we're going to know that those products are going to be safe. So it's my great honor to invite to the stage Michael McGuffin, the Executive Director of the American Herbal Products Association. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate this. And I, I have to say, uh, following Dr. Getman, who's been at this for 17 years, and we've been at this for about 17 months, uh, I feel a little like a guy who got the Nobel Peace Prize before he actually did anything to promote peace. But um, I, I really appreciate uh, this award. I, I do want to acknowledge that um, uh, numerous other parties, I. I think that to present this to me personally misses um, the, the point of the structure that I represent. The APA board um, needs to be acknowledged for its willingness to expand that tent or umbrella, as you said. I, I, you know, we've always clearly identified ourselves as not just a dietary supplement organization, we're an herbal organization, but I think the challenge that numerous of our members presented to us was to own this herb, and uh, my board took that challenge and has willingly expanded the APA tent to include the medical marijuana industry. I also really want to thank the APA members. There are several of you here, Steve, Jehan, you are the ones that are doing the work. I mean, what we're providing is the structure, the organization, the experience. Um, but we don't have the expertise, and you do, and it's really appreciated. Um, I called out just a couple that are here, but there are dozens of people who are devoting hours and hours every week to try to move this work forward so that we can create a structure where we're taken seriously by the regulators, where we're, where we're viewed as an industry that intends to be properly regulated, that's not this perception of misuse of a recreational drug. I mean, Steve put an article in our newsletter recently that really challenged this whole idea that, that uh, marijuana is for recreational use. That's a rarity. Almost everyone is using it for its medical purpose. So again, I really appreciate, and this award is for you uh, much more than it is for me. And then of course, you know, especially I need to thank Steph uh, I don't need to tell anybody in this room. Uh, she's just an incredible inspiration. Um, 
it's been a real pleasure to work with you. I have to. <laughs> I have to say I get some relief uh, uh, when I hear that uh, ten years ago you thought you'd be done in two years. Uh, that's between you and I. You know exactly what I mean. I really appreciate hearing that. Thanks very much. Thank you, to the future of medical cannabis.